Mr. Holmes, good. Where is Mary Kelly? We're all searching for her. I've got men in every house. You had her, Foxborough. And you lost her intentionally. What are you talking about? Why has he been following us? Huh? May surprise you to learn, Watson. This is our mysterious informant. Uh huh? Using his agents, Makins and Lanyard, to deliver messages to steer us into whichever direction he chose. You're insane. No, Inspector. You are the head of a radical movement. I have proof, rest assured. Your career at Scotland Yard is finished. Do you want him to get away with it? Do you want Mary Kelly butchered like all the others? You don't care a damn about what happens to Mary Kelly. Or any of the other pathetic women. Well, perhaps that's true. Perhaps they're not important. Except insofar as they show this government's aristocratic contempt for the people and how they suffer. If you, Sherlock Holmes, can't see the corruption around you, then perhaps some people do have to die in order to expose it. Oh, you'd let them all die? You'd let Mary Kelly die? Yes, by God, I'll let her die. But if you find the killers, and it can be shown that my superiors and the government have concealed evidence, if you can expose their lies, their abuse of power, then perhaps we can, we can bring this decadent monarchy to its knees. He's out of his senses. He doesn't know what he's saying. Yes, he does, Watson. He knows full well. He knows exactly what he's doing. A man devoid of conscience, as guilty as the murderer himself. She trusted you, Mr. Holmes. She came out of hiding because she trusted you. So if they got her, it's because she trusted you got almighty Sherlock Holmes. Foxborough, stay away from me. They used you. We used you. You did exactly what we wanted you to do. If she dies, and you come under my hand, expect no mercy. You have my word on it. Radical in Scotland Yard. Terrifying. Holmes, what did you mean when you said... Oh.